your brain, you're in the nuts domain. Come on in, it's about to begin. Hi, everybody. I'm Matt Quiet, and welcome to the Nerds Domain Podcast. Uh, This episode, again, we're doing a quick uh, Kickstarter uh, interview with Ben Harkins of Floodgate Games. Hello. And, uh, yeah, hey, Ben. And uh, we're going to talk about his Kickstarter for King of Clubs. Yes. Um, First, Ben, we start off with a couple of uh, standard questions that everybody gets. So think long and hard. These are super important. Okay, I'm ready. In the impending zombie apocalypse, what is your weapon of choice? Oh my goodness! See, I told you, long and hard thought. This is this is super important. Well, a, a baseball bat seems to do the trick every time. So. Okay, so a good old Louisville slugger. Yep, it doesn't run okay. out of ammo. <laughs> it doesn't. No. Um, all right, and given all of the sci-fi that you know, what planet do you most want to visit? Some of the ones from Serenity could be interesting. Yeah, I've heard that before. I, um, the the all water planet with the, yeah. with the 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 towns floating above it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's start off with your sales pitch. Uh, what's going on with King of Clubs, and why do you have such a passion for your project? Sure. Yeah, King King of Clubs is uh, our newest game. It's a uh, a lightweight game for two or four players, and it's all about competing teams of dancers. So players are managing teams of dancers while nightclubs are having dance competitions. So you send your dancers to these nightclubs and have them do their best moves, and whoever has the best dancer at a nightclub wins prestige points. And if you win the most prestige for a round, then you earn one point. But in order to earn your point, you have to actually dance. Oh, okay. Um, And so... uh, Dancing is kind of a it's a unique uh, idea for a game. Where did this come from with you? Well, for me, I've I've always uh, loved dance, and it's been a big part of my life. Um, growing up, my sister was an avid dancer; she still is, and so I've been to my share of dance recitals and competitions of the like. And as I got older, I became an electronic music DJ, and I did that for many years, and played in nightclubs and underground parties all across the Midwest U.S., and so dancing's just been a big part of my life all along, and I figured, hey, I love board games, and I love this whole dancing nightclub culture. I'd see what I could do to mash the two together. Okay. Well, it looks like you've got some good art here. Uh, who's your artist, and are you guys, uh, like, finished up yet, or you still have some work to do? Yeah, Kelly McClellan. She's, she's from uh, California. And she's fantastic. Um, pretty much everything's done. We've got a couple of the promo characters are not quite done yet, but all of the core art for the game is completed. Okay. And um, it looks like you've got well, just a few levels here, to, uh, um, some of the smaller number of levels I've seen, but it's pretty uh, pretty easily like situated here. Um, yeah. It's like for 12 bucks you get a, a game, yep. is, and that... Yeah, I really wanted to keep this uh, a lot simpler. I've seen a lot of Kickstarter projects where it feels like you have to spend half your time figuring out what level to back at. And I, I really wanted this one to be as, just like I said, as straightforward as it could be um, with a couple of extra in-theme kicks and whatnot. So. And it looks like uh, there's already a, a small expansion called, oh, uh, where'd it go? It's the Bust a Move uh, expansion. Yes, the Bust a Move expansion. It looks like that's going to come with all the Kickstarter stuff. Yep, yep. I'm including that one straight away. Uh, we'll be showing those cards as the as the campaign progresses. Okay, and it looks like you've also already upgraded your uh, point markers to full on disco ball. Yeah, that was going to be uh, one of the stretch goals, but I already kind of have a, an aggressive goal, so I thought this game can't be made without them. So right on, yeah. right on. I like them. I, I think <laughs> they're going to be a nice addition to the game. I agree. So. I agree. So it looks like for twelve bucks I get a game, and then um, for eighty five dollars uh, I get a game, and then uh, the two other game or the game and the expansion that your company's already made put out. Legacy is that correct? Yeah. So at the, the eighty five dollar level, I'm offering the the game that we launched, <clears throat> excuse me, last year on Kickstarter, Legacy Gears of Time, and adding in the expansion that we just launched this year called Legacy Forbidden Machines. Okay. 
And so, and then at the top level, I mean, there's only four levels, but at the top level, you get to name one of the nightclubs. You got it. And looks like you've got four backers there already. It looks like lots of people are all excited about that. So <laughs> Yeah, I think some people just want to want to be able to own a nightclub or, or yeah. put their name in, in some sort of writing somewhere. Well, and it's a little bit of yourself in the game. Makes you a little more uh, a little more invested. Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to what people come up with for those. So you've uh, uh, by the time this goes up, you'll have been up five days. So this will go up on Wednesday the 25th. Great. Um, it looks like right now you're about 15 percent, almost 15 percent. Yep. Um, looks like you're moving along pretty easy. Um, is there a lot of stress still? Do you feel like this is this is going too slow, too fast? What What do you think? Uh, this is this is the third Kickstarter campaign I've run, and you just I don't think you can get used to it. It's it's such a great experience and a lot of fun. Um, it's fun to watch and. I appreciate every backer that comes in. Um, I'm pretty confident that we'll make the goal, but I obviously can't do it without the help of lots of amazing people. Okay. Uh, so um, you've got this game. Are, do you plan on making expansions later after the Kickstarter? Is this something that you could see more dancers, more moves, that kind of stuff coming out? Or Probably not for this one, unless there's a pretty pretty big reception. I feel like the game as it is is a pretty tight package and um, I guess I just don't I don't really see a whole lot of need or room for for something like that at this point okay so it's all going to be pretty self-contained and, and once I get this I'm pretty set to play the game as much as I want yeah with this I don't one, have to worry sure. about chasing down everything else so oh no okay oh no and it, it, um, it really is intended to be um, a lighter weight uh, I don't want to say filler game but more of a, a gateway game of sorts we've found a, okay. a lot of this is one of the only games where a lot of our playtesters have said they've been able to play it with their wives and um, non-gamer related folks. So that's been good. Okay. Well, good. Uh, so tell me about uh, your background in gaming. Uh, where did you start? Where are you, where are you headed? Yeah, um, I've been playing board games for quite a while since since high school. We used to play we used to play Risk in the attic, and it was freezing in the winter and here in Minnesota it gets pretty cold but that's where we'd set up the board and every day after school uh, myself and a couple friends would meet up and we'd we'd vie for global domination so and it's just been getting more and more and more involved ever since um, okay acquire was one of my first uh, games I fell in love with I don't know that not a lot of people have played that one but it's it's pretty fun and uh, as far as where I'm going from here uh, I'm pleased to be a part of the community of folks publishing and producing board games, and I hope to continue to do it. Okay, so uh, with that in mind, where, where does where does Floodgate go from here? You've got Legacy out, and now King of Clubs. Do you, do you more more expansions for Legacy? Are you looking at your next kind of goal as a uh, next game? What, what are you thinking? Yeah, so we've got a game that. Uh, is in the works right now, and uh, it's being playtested. It's been pretty fun. This one's called uh, Epic Resort. It's it's a game where <clears throat> players are building their own resort to attract heroes and tourists to come to this resort, but and and get their much needed rest. But monsters won't let them rest, and they come and eat the tourists. And okay. the heroes have to defend them. Defend well, them. That sounds that is a very uh, unique idea. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, all right. Well, uh, you know, uh, it sounds like you've got a, uh, a good game here. I've already backed you. Yes, thanks. I suggest uh, everybody get a chance gets, that gets a chance go check it out. Um, I've played Legacy. Uh, it's it's super fun. Uh, a lot of thought goes into that one. This one seems like a little more a little more fun and action packed and a little less uh, plotting and scheming. Definitely. Um, but that's okay. That's I can always go for a game like that. <laughs> so, um, and I, you know, keep an eye on Floodgate Games. It looks like you guys are moving right along. Um, it was great to meet you guys at Gen Con. Yeah, definitely. Um, and is there anywhere else that we could see you in the next year or so? Yeah, we'll be at BGG Con in November. And if you're here in the Midwest, we have a convention called Con of the North that happens in St. Paul, Minnesota. We'll be at that in February, and we're all lined up for Gen Con 2014, even though that's quite a ways away. Uh, it's always good to plan ahead for Gen Con. Yeah. 
All right. Well, uh, thank you, Ben, for coming on and talking about your game. Thank you. Um, as always, guys, you can catch us on Facebook and Twitter. You can head over to the website and um, click on the Amazon link and check that out. Uh, it's always the same price for you, and a little bit comes back to us. You can get our web- our T-shirts over at SlashLoot.com. Thank Josh Shop for our music, and that'll do us for tonight. Talk to you guys later. Bye.